Hey everyone, Rabbit here. Well, looks like we officially know what the new dino is going to be, and it's going to be a flyer. And it looks like a pretty cool one at that, so it's pretty exciting. Before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. Hit the thumbs up, and we'll get going. All right, so let's have a look here. Looks like a meaner pterodon, quite a bit bigger, maybe a quetzal size, possibly. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look here. Up close, the trop is easily recognized by its keeled crest on its snout, but the wingspan is up to 27 feet, so it's pretty big. It said you'll spot it before then, so yeah, it's probably like Quetzal. You'll notice it in the distance. Now, the wings are not only ideal for catching air currents over its ocean hunting grounds, which gives us a hint there. I guess it spawns over the ocean around. But it also lets the trop draft off of other flying creatures by flying behind them. So I guess you're flying behind any anything else, Quetzal, but they're slow, wavering or something. You can catch its wind and keep on going. While it's not the fastest flyer on the aisles, when it's combined with its remarkable stamina, this makes the trough well suited for long distance flight. So high stamina, keep on going. That's a good thing. Following air currents, drifts, could be fun. Now, because of, uh, because it's on the wing so much, the trop is best snared by those riding another flyer. I've noticed the more clever tribes people using chain bolas to capture them while airborne. So maybe a quetzal trap would work instead of a chain bola. Or uh, even on a skiff you could put a trap. I don't have to see what everyone comes up with, but I'm guessing a trap method would probably be best. Once tamed, trop has proven quite useful to people on the aisles beyond mere transportation. For example, its tooth beak can grind down many common goods to their base components, so it's a fly-in grinder. Now, can you use it for stone and everything as well? That's one thing we'll have to find out here. That'd be pretty neat. And then the bike crack armor and grind through it over time, so it sounds like it bypasses armor possibly and do quite a bit of damage to people. Can blow away flora and fauna, so it's probably just like a wavern, how it catches thatch and everything with trees, and whether it collects berries, that'll be one thing to find out, but it can at least blow everything away. Now, here's something that's really unique about this thing, is air-to-air -air combat with this creature really shines, and with the right tools, some survivors have managed to fit them with a saddle-mounted flak cannon and jet engine for maximum lethality. So, pretty much it's an air dogfighter. you got a jetpack on this thing and a flat cannon. So how that cannon will actually unleash, unlock, who knows. But this dino is available on both consoles and PC on the 4th of June. So it will not be a Crystal Isles exclusive because Crystal Isles is only coming to PC first on the 4th. So that means this will have to be on all other maps available to everybody. So that'll be interesting to play out how we actually get all this. Here we can see the jet pack. That's quite interesting. And here we go, yep. Crystal Isles will be June 4th on PC. It'll be on console. It's usually, what, two, three weeks, so a month after. But this dyno will be available June 4th for everything. So that'll be interesting to see where the spawning points and everything are. But sounds like over the ocean.